We're very excited over here at the Power TV Garage because in front of me right now is the new SHP short block which has been built by Dart. Now what we plan to do is bolt on a top end kit and run some dyno tests to see what numbers we can squeeze out of this baby. Now you might be asking what's SHP all about? Well, let's go take a look. We're here at Dart Machinery's headquarters in Troy, Michigan in the engine build shop to talk about their Chevy small block called the Special High Performance or SHP. With us today is Jack McGinnis. Jack, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. Jack, who is this designed for? This is designed for the street performance enthusiast or sportsman racer. Somebody who needs a precision machined, affordable cast iron small block. The SHP is significantly less expensive than your race blocks. How are you guys able to do that? Well, first of all, we completely designed new foundry tooling, which gives us a nearer to net casting, taking a lot of machine work out and keeping things closer to the finished product right out of the mold. Secondly, we redesigned the machining fixtures, which enable us to combine some operations and reduce the amount of machining time without compromising the quality of the block. Well, let's head a little south of here to Dart's main machining facility to see how the SHP block is made. This area is where the blocks are qualified for machining and then the first operation is performed. And the qualifying that, of course, is when the raw castings come in, you're just making sure that everything is within the manufacturer tolerance. Yes, and with the SHP block, we actually made a lot of changes to the foundry tooling, which enable us to qualify it in a lot less time than with our race type blocks, and that ultimately equates to more value for less money. What was it that we accomplished there? Well, some of the features were the uh, priority main oiling system is initiated at that point, and that system brings oil from the main galley to the main bearings first, and then up to the cam and lifters and top end of the motor. Also, we do some machine work in the valley of the engine, which allows a builder to use the factory type roller lifter setup, which is an economical option if they choose to go that way. Jack, this is uh, op two, and I understand this is where a lot of the heavy machining is done. Right, this is the second operation. This is where most of the metal removal takes place. We cut the decks, bore the cylinders, bore the lifters, machine the oil pan rail, motor mounts, core plugs, all of those areas that can be accessed on a vertical axis. Is it a lengthy process? It's probably the lengthiest operation of the three, yeah. Well, block is visibly different between the end of OP1 and OP2, and I know a lot of things have happened during OP2. What have we accomplished here? Well, we machine the decks, and we cut them so they're even in parallel for assembly. It's a extra thick deck for performance applications. We machine the bores, including a hone over travel, which helps the engine builder to do a final hone. We do the bolt holes for the heads, and these are blind holes. They don't go through into water, which avoids having to use a sealer on your head bolts. The block is cast with clearance, and we also do some machining to accommodate cranks up to about a 375 stroke with steel rods. So Jack, uh, OP3, the final stage of this facility, and one of the things I see is that the block is now in a horizontal position versus a vertical one. Why exactly is that? After OP2, we mount the main caps to the block and fixture it on its deck, which gives us a very accurate center line to take other dimensions from. So here we bore the main bearings, the cam journal, 
timing cover area, bell housing area, some of the oil passage areas, and other critical items. So from here we're going to load them up on a pallet and ship them up to the technology facility up in Troy? That's right, they go on the truck from here. We've come to the Dart Machinery Technology Center in Troy, Michigan and caught up with Ted Keating, who's the general manager here at Dart Machinery. And Ted, we got the chance to see the machining facility and the processes there. What happens once that block comes back here? Well, with the SHP block, we take a little different approach. Um, obviously, at the machining centers, 99% uh, of the work is completed there. Um, we do not line home the cams and mains. Those are board and finished surfaces along with the decks. Um, all we leave for the engine builder to finish is the uh, cylinder bores. So once the block comes back here, what is that inspection process? The, the, the little bit of inspection process that we do here is really relegated to the oil galleys and uh, some of the machine surfaces. With all the technology Dart has integrated into their SHP block, there is no doubt they will be a big hit in the budget racing world. Check back to streetlegaltv.com as we will be building and dynoing an SHP short block to test their true power capability.